Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Razavi and today I want to talk about Comica. Now Comica is basically touch on me but for Linux. So if you use a Linux PC or if you have a Steam Deck like I do, I'm currently recording this on my Steam Deck for example, you can basically use your Steam Deck like you would use Touch show me. Now if you have no clue what Touch show me is, okay, fair enough. Uh, I'll link it to the top right of the screen right now. Click on that, take a look at what Touch show me is. It's probably gonna blow your mind if you've never heard of it before. I'll also link it in the description or and, and also in the pinned comment so you can just take a look at it whenever you got the time. I uh, just know that Touch show me is crazy good for reading manga. Um, and this is basically going to be the same thing, but then for your Linux PC, which I think is pretty damn cool. Now I'm just going to quickly show you how this works. It's very simple. This should not be a long video, not compared to my really long touch show me uh, video, how to set it up. This is going to be very short. Uh, basically what you can do is if you already have a manga in your library, you can click on it. You can then, if you want, of course, uh, take a look at the information that kind of stuff you know synopsis and all and all and whatnot you can take a look at the categories but i don't have any categories set up so for me that's not really important you can then of course start if you want read a chapter as you can imagine and basically um there's that yeah um now once that is done you can uh, i'll scroll here so you can see that it works right <laughs> it does work perfectly fine now uh once we've done that you can of course go back and you can go back again, as you can imagine. And you can also add stuff to your own library because, you know, that's kind of the whole point of reading manga on your PC. So let's go do that. Now, in this case, I'm going to select this one right here. Do whatever you want with it, but I prefer this um, uh, this extension, if I, if I can call it that. I'm just going to go to most popular. Uh, you can, of course, search whatever you want, but in this case, I'm just going to go to more po most popular. I'm just going to select one. Um, in this case, I'm going to select uh, solo leveling. It's my favorite manga of all time, so I think that I kind of owe it to it to, uh, you know, uh, to select it. Now, as you can see, you can add it to your library. Um, you can see how many chapters it has, uh, what the last chapter was, etc., etc., the genres, the synopsis. Now, in this case, let's add it to my library. Let's go do that, add to library. Okay, so once I've done that, I could go back to my library and then start reading it. But since I've added it to my library, I can, of course, start reading it here as well. So let's click on read. Now, it'll give you the full chapter list. Um, you can, of course, read whichever chapter you want in this, because I'm just going to go to chapter one to avoid major spoils for everyone. Uh, you can also, if you want, by the way, you can download the chapters as well. So if you if you wanted to, to use it for offline usage, for example, with my Steam Deck, if I'm not around Wi-Fi or whatnot, uh, yeah, I can just download it and then use it offline. Now, I'm not planning on doing so, but you can. It's an option. So I'll click on chapter one to show you that everything works, of course. Whoops, I'm selecting stuff that I shouldn't select. Um, go away. Yes, no, okay. Uh, oh, God, I'm selecting everything. Okay, wait, let me go back real quick. Can cancel. There we go. Okay, chapter one. So, as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Now, like I said, it's not going to be a long video because it's incredibly simple. The setup is incredibly simple. If you've watched my Touch Show Me video, you know that setting up Touch Show Me can be quite a hassle. It doesn't have to be, and if you're kind of tech-savvy, it's not incredibly difficult. But for a lot of people, you know, it's kind of difficult. In this case, this is not. I think we can all agree you basically download it from any kind of store. For example, in, in my case, since I'm using the Steam OS, I just downloaded it from the, uh, uh, from the store that Steam offers. Uh, right and, and that's about it so it's it's incredibly simple now you can set up categories and stuff if you want um but i think i frankly i think you can figure that out yourself i don't i don't need to make this video any longer than it should be so this is the basic setup of comic it's incredibly cool it's free as well which i think a lot of you will like uh, especially if you're a Linux user, right? Um, so yeah, it's it's really cool. Uh, this is really something that um, when I think of Linux and, and, and the versatility of Linux, uh, yeah, this is definitely something that also comes to mind. So uh, yeah, a, a big pro uh, for Linux indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that this video was enjoyable to you. If it was, make sure to click on the like button. If you have not yet subscribed, you don't like this kind of content, of course, subscribe is a win-win for the both of us. I get a new subscriber and you get recommended my videos. And I just wanna thank you guys for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, I was Rosavi, and you were you, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.